Hello and welcome to the really exciting announcement of our Datsun 510 steering rack conversion. So this is our first video. We will have a installation video. You can check it out over here. But this is the product overview video. So in this video, we're gonna go over what's included, the composition of the components, generally our QC process, different color options, and things that you would wanna consider or at least know of before purchasing our product. So first, we're gonna go over the construction. Here we have our tubular, I would say a secondary cross member or steering rack cross member. Um, it goes from one end to the other end. It mounts where the original idler arm and steering box would mount. Um, the steering rack goes under here. It comes with these billet aluminum rack clamps. The steering rack is optional. You could purchase it directly through us or you could purchase it through the uh, vendor that we have. We'll have the link of the vendor uh, on our website as well. It'll come with this hardened steel spline shafts and pre-assembled with the bearing and the snap rings, a clamp collar, a set of the outer tie rods. Now, the nice thing about these is that they have another bung adjuster. And so you'd be able to thread this one way and it'll lengthen it the other way. Same concept of the factory tie rods or the ones that we sell for the 510 that have super easy toe adjustments. You're not having to unscrew a bunch of things. You can turn the adjuster one way and the other way and it'll get you uh, that toe adjustment. A set of a double U-joint, a single U-joint, a double D three-quarter shaft, a three-quarter rod end with the jam nuts, and a set of our hardened steel uh, adjustable tie rods or the low profile, depending on what options you have. We do have a video on which one to select, adjustable, low profile. You can check out that video. I'll try to sneak it right here. Otherwise, it should be in the description or you can just check it out on our install video. Um, next, we'll have obviously the hardware sheet. It'll come with some bolts, nuts, washers, smaller nuts, smaller washers, and a set of these U-bolts. Um, now, the really nice thing about these U-bolts is they go on these rack climbs. You can see that profile is super low. So it gives you a ton of ample room for the, uh, for the oil pan clearances and what other clearances. Um, this kit is designed to use the Ford Escort uh, MK2 steering rack. Uh, the reason we really like these steering racks is one, geometry of them fit so well with the 510. There's other steering racks that people have tried, uh, maybe some Toyota ones, some other brands, but the pivot to pivot in relation to the control arm and the rest of the suspension geometry, this is ideal for the 510. It just kind of works out uh, that way. And the ratio is really nice and quick. It's got a 2.4 ratio. Sometimes you can even get them a little quicker. You can even get them a little slower, but this paired with our quick steering knuckles, it really makes it a, a uh, like a, a, almost a brand new car. It's super nimble on the street, really good for autocross and stuff like that. Uh, our QC process on this is relatively simple. We check the bolt holes, make sure there's enough room for powder coating. Uh, we check the, the clearances for the rack clamps, make sure these U joints are good. Obviously checking the threads on all our components, you know, making sure these are nice and smooth. You know, usually when we when we check the spline, we'll check it in with the mating component as well, um, just so we can ensure that works. The double Ds as well. Oftentimes you'll see these come pre-assembled from us. Uh, this is just for us to also double check on our QC process. So, you know, oftentimes you'll see the D rings at attached, uh, pre-assembled to these just part of our QC kind of helps. Um, same thing with these, you'll see the bung adjuster nut, jam nut, these will be fully assembled as well from us, part of our QC as well. And then uh, we do also pre-assemble this uh, steering rack coupler onto our uh, cross member here as well. And this is adjustable. So every 510 is slightly different. That's why we have these double threads. So then this is able to move in and out depending on how you have your steering rack set up. Uh, if you purchase the steering rack from us, it'll come with the steering rack, it'll come with the bushings. The bushings won't come assembled, you know, but these bushings are pretty simple. They'll come as one piece, like this. And these are poly bushings, they're pretty nice quality. Uh, what we recommend is you just take a razor and cut one end. Same thing back here, cut it on the D side, one end. And that way, when they're cut, you're able to split it move this around and have a nice clamp tight. Obviously with our rack clamps, it doesn't move at all. So we're gonna cover this in the product install. It's gonna bolt to these three holes on both sides. We obviously provide the hardware for it. Now, if you're running the L-Series engine with the, with the factory rear sump oil pan, 
uh, like this guy is. Um, there's a mid pipe. I think that's what we want to call this. Um, that bolts just like this. So that's kind of where it lands. Uh, unfortunately, you're either going to have to modify this or get a new mid pipe custom made, or maybe somebody sells one. I'm not really sure. This really only affects guys with the L series. Um, and it's because the steering linkage would come right down in this area. Um, we found this to be like the least amount of modification needed was just this mid pipe. Um, I believe there was a company making a similar version of the steering rack conversions and it required a mid pipe uh, and a oil sump exchange, uh, maybe a, a pickup point on the oil sump. So we figured that this was the path of least resistance for guys that are running the uh, L series. Obviously, if you have a uh, right hand drive vehicle, then this doesn't affect you. And if you're running like an SR20 and a KA swap or some of the other popular swap, it doesn't affect you either because you know, you're running custom engine or headers or whatever you're going on that. It's just something to consider if you're running the factory engine with the uh, rear sump oil pan is this mid pipe would have to get custom made or modified. And uh, we, we sneak the steering rack right in between here. So uh, it, it's got, it's close, but it's, you've got some room uh, to be able to have the steering rack right in between here. And the another nice thing is if you are doing an SR20 or K swap, this is obviously a front sump pan. Our cross member is reversible, um, but it, it, then it gives you even more room. But if you are running the, the factory motor transmission, then we're able to sneak the steering rack right here. You're able to keep the, the oil pan, transmission, everything. It's just the, the mid pipe that, that you have to modify. That's about it for the, for the overall components. Obviously we have a bunch of different colors that you can have for, for the cross members. So you can check out our color video over there. Um, our install video will be right there as well. If you have any other questions or concerns, give us a call, give us a ring. We're super excited about these. I think these are going to be an awesome upgrade for your 510. Alrighty, we'll see you at the install video.